O'Fallon is a city of tradition with vision. That means our city staff and elected officials are always working towards improving our community, while never losing track of the heritage that's made us who we are today. In 2015, we laid the groundwork for new city amenities that will help us grow to meet O'Fallon's needs for decades to come. We improved our infrastructure, replacing and repairing more city streets than ever before. We streamlined our services with lean government processes, making it easier for residents to get the help they need. But as more things change, more things stay the same. In 2015, we still hosted dozens of festivals that brought our community together, like the famous Heritage and Freedom Fest. Our economy continued to grow, bringing one-of-a-kind shops and international businesses to our city. And we've grown accustomed to the accolades we earn every year, like SafeWise.com's Missouri Safest Cities Award. All in all, 2015 was a good year to be an O'Fallon resident. Now, with the dawning of the new year, we sat down with O'Fallon's mayor and city administrator to discuss our city's goals for 2016. We have quite a few, and all of us know the number one is the Justice Center. We hope to break uh, ground this spring, and I think we're going to make that. So that's going to be huge because I think everybody's um, quite happy about um, seeing it come up finally, the construction of the building. So that will be happening in 2016. Another big one is we have an August ballot issue for our Parks Department, which is to get O'Day Park built and to rejuvenate Civic Park so, and expand Alligators Creek. And if you've ever been to Alligators Creek in the summertime, it's crowded and we're going to expand it and we're gonna, we need more room at Civic Park. We're also planning a number of infrastructure projects that will have a lasting effect on the O'Fallon community. The council for 2016 decided to refinance some bonds. So we are going to be able to not only design but implement a lot of those stormwater projects that have been asked to be done for over 20 years in this city to stop the flooding issues that people are having. So I think that's a huge project that we're going to be undertaking. Uh, again, we're, um, the I-70 project with our um, one-way outer roads, that's going to be another major issue and project that we're going to see at least design completed in 2016. Uh, and I think we have some others having to do with water and sewer. Uh, we've got to do something with our Main Street water breaks and that's going to be in design phase. So a lot of the issues that we've been trying to tackle um, since I've been here are actually going to come to fruition. You can keep an eye on upcoming projects by visiting O'Fallon's website. Once there, you can follow along on the progress of our new Justice Center, get updates on road and construction projects, and learn more about how our city is growing. Exciting changes are coming to O'Fallon, and we're proud to be one of the best cities in the state of Missouri. What we've done is made the city a great place to work, live, and play. And basically our goal still is to maintain being one of the best places to, to live, one of the safest cities in America, and to maintain our streets and make our residents feel safe driving through the city of Ohio.